everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be creating an azure active directory tenant and we'll be managing azure uh, ad guest users so if we go with the architecture diagram so initially we have created this particular user and using this user we have uh, created uh, user 2 because uh, he was user administrator so he has the privilege to create that and next we have created three different groups which is uh, IT cloud administrators, IT system administrators, and IT lab administrators. So we have created these three groups in which these two are dynamic and uh, this one is assigned. So this one is assigned and these two are dynamic. So now in this video, we'll be creating a tenant, a different tenant. And in this particular tenant, we'll be creating this user. Uh, with the specific uh, roles and responsibilities and then we're gonna connect it with our uh, main directory so that is what uh, we are going to do now so let's jump into the video so initially we have to create a tenant for that let's go to the active directory and in the active directory you can see there is manage tenants click that and here you have to create a new tenant However, I have already created it, but let me show you how this is done. So this should be Active Directory. And if you go to the configurations, so make sure you select the organization. So according to the docs, oh shit. according to the docs, one second. So this is the name and uh, my name will be, I just created it as well. and it will be United States. So you can just click, see everything is right. So you just need to be and create it. So once it is done, you have to go back to that particular tenant. So if you go back here, you can see the sign here, right? If you click, we have an option called switch. We can switch to this uh, particular lab, which is a different tenant. So let me go to that. And in this tenant, you have to create uh, the user. So if you check the diagram, so we have created the tenant and in that tenant, we have to create this particular user is it 10401B user. So if you go back, if you go back to the users, click the users and you have to create a new user. So already this is done, but let's see. So create a new user and in this case let me add the details of the user so let me add this he's already present i know add the name so once it is done let's create a password and add a specific password here and uh, you can add the groups if you want but uh, according to the docs it doesn't require that and coming to the job title he is the system administrator so if we click job uh, title, he's a system administrator and coming to the department, he's the same department, which is IT. So once it is done, make sure you create it after giving uh, all these details, the password and others. So if you go back to the users, you can see he has already been created and uh, make sure you copy the total mail so basically this is known as a user principal name so upn and shortcut so you can you, uh, you have to copy this uh, upn and once you copy this you will be using in uh, the next few sessions so if you go back here so this is our main directory if you go back to where is Azure Directory? Yeah, Azure Active Directory. And here we have to create a new guest user. So who is the guest user? This is the guy. So using that, we'll be connecting it. So if you go back here. Okay. So here go to the users. And uh, here create a new guest user. And you have to add the details. So in this case, the name would be this one. 
and coming to the email we have to copy this UPN which is this one so once you copy this paste it and you can add the first and last name if you want and you can add any personal messages that you want to add you can do that and similarly the groups and roles we'll be doing it in the next uh, few seconds and coming to the usage location it will be the United States Don't click the United States and uh, coming to the job title he will be the lab administrator so if I click here lab administrator and coming to the department IT so that was what it is uh, for this particular user and uh, once it is done make sure you click the invite link so once it is done you can see this is the particular user that we have created so once it is done uh, click this particular user which we have created and here we have to assign a role for this lab administrator group to establish this connection so you can see here it's an assigned group so you know we have to do it manually however like they do belong to different tenants but uh, yeah even if the user in the same uh, tenant we have to sign it so if I go back to the groups okay and we are we have to add the membership so if you click that you can see there is IT lab administrators you have to click that and you have to select it and that will be done well it takes maybe like few seconds but it will be there just refresh it now you can see it's done so yeah pretty much the lab is completed for now so we have uh, created the uh, user one user two and we have created three uh, different groups and uh, in which two are dynamic and one is assigned and uh, next we have created different tenant and we have added a user one and then we have established a connection between tenant one and tenant two so yeah so after doing this make sure you clean up the resources because you don't want to incur some unexpected uh, costs so make sure you delete all the users and the groups as well as uh, the premium people that we have created so yeah and uh, I hope you guys have uh, understood the concept of uh, managing Azure Active Directory identities so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you